Two minutes remaining. And I have to be at work in eight minutes. I'm not going to make it. But you know what, guys? I called in and said, you know what? I'm going to be a little late because I have to upload this video for YouTube, for you guys. So I'm just letting you know, just letting you know that I care about you and I love you. And thank you guys for all of your happy birthday wishes. This is Everyday Vlogger. It is Sunday, September 11, 2011. It is the 10 year anniversary of 9 11 in America, so it's probably an emotional day for a lot of people. And uh, it's the start of the football season. All in all, um, it should be a pretty good day. Um, I'm going to work right now, so I'm vlogging while driving without any rapist glasses. The reason why I call them rapist glasses is because they're the ugliest freaking glasses ever, not because they really do look like a rapist glass. They're just really freaking ugly. And you know it. You know it. Point. But, um, okay. I'll see you guys after work. And that is it. You know, girls and guys. That kind of shit. Drama. All that, whatever. You know, it gets to you. You know? I know most of our audience is my age, so you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, you, you work a job six days a week. You know, you're going in, waking up just so you can go to work, go to sleep because you're tired from work, wake up so you can work some more. You know, and you do all, you just do all that to make a little bit of money so you can have a little bit of fun. You know, and in the between time is, you know, pretty much your life, you know. You get three hours a day to do just whatever the fuck you want. And that's, you know, the fun in that is what your life is about. Because everything else is work, right? So whether you choose to be productive or progressive or whatever you want to do with your life is just that. And when it comes to girls, and guys, and all that kind of nonsense, whatever, social networking, you know, sometimes that shit gets complicated. You know, to be honest, you know, more than anything, it doesn't upset me, but it pisses me off. It really does. I'm not gonna lie. I get really mad sometimes. It's just I have issues. I just get pissed off. I just don't know how to handle it sometimes, you know. And, I, and it's just that that's what it is. What it is, you know. So I just want to say, um, there's certain people right here in my city. Keep fucking with me. You know, I never respected that bullying in high school. I never respected bullying in high school. Because, you know, most of the time, the people who are messing with the other people are people who have less to, like, you know, have a reason for, you know. I'm not saying to live for, but I'm saying, like, you know, back in the day in high school when you would see all these, you know, these jocks picking on these, like, little losers, these nerds. It's like, you know, that's probably the worst idea in the world. It should be the other way around, if anything. Because, I mean, these, these jocks, these big kids, these popular kids, you know, they got hot girlfriends, you know, hot cars, you know, they're living good, they're in programs and shit like that. These losers, you know, my kind of people, I guess, I'm a loser. These losers, these nerds, these dorks, you know, they have video games, you know, they have their smarts, their wits about them, you know, like, to mess with the loser is like messing with someone who if they wanted to, could devote all of their time to making your life worse. They think, they think you have more to lose than I do. They think you can fuck with me. And when I say me, I mean <laughs> us, you know, losers. You really think you can fuck with losers. You think you can, uh, you can make someone feel bad, feel down. Someone, someone who stays up all night, all day, reading and being a, a nerd online and shit. You don't think I could very just easily devote hours and hours of my time just to make your life, you specifically, have a worse life, you know? I'm a low life, right? Down, down there. On a different level than you, right? Why don't you, why don't you come down to my level? See what it's like, you know. See if everything you have now 
didn't exist. It just wasn't there. What would you do with your life? Would you keep fucking with people? I don't think so. So, uh, just a little, uh, excerpt for you people who like to, uh, fuck with other people. And, uh, it's a little motivation for all you, uh, losers out there. You know, don't let anyone. Don't let anyone. Ever, uh, kick you in the wrong direction. That's, uh, my words of wisdom for today. Roadblock, there must be something going on over there. Some kind of crime scene. Something dangerous. Dangerous. Emily just got uh, fired because she forgot about her morning shift today, so she's gonna have to find something else, which is unfortunate. I'm pretty pissed about that, but life goes on and you will find another job, Emily, immediately. Trust me. As you can see, I am at Applebee's, and I like to touch my beard a lot. I just noticed that, like, I'm always touching my beard. Maybe that's why I keep it, because I like to touch, I like the feeling of the beard. I'm getting takeout over here, and the reason why is because, first of all, I just made some good money. Second, I'm sick of the food at the restaurant. And third, I don't really eat Applebee's too much. I got a Philly cheesesteak, and... Mac and cheese. So it better be good. It better be amazing. Food reviews with EDV. Yes, I know. We do go do takeout a lot. Okay? A lot. You wanna know why? Because that's what we do. And there is no reason. There is no real reason. We just go and eat out all the time. Twelve dollars. Enough said. Well, my car won't start right now. So I'm gonna wait like 15 minutes. Sometimes it likes to do that. On fun. On purpose. Just for the heck of it. So, uh, here's the food. There's the mac and cheese. They put a little bit too much butter in it, but it's good. And that's my filling cheese steak. Delicious. I'm just stuck outside listening to country music. That's the only bad part about this. I'm sorry, but I do not like country music. You know, I really don't like too many Philly cheesesteaks in my day, okay? I don't really eat too many of them. But I would have to rate this a nice 7.5 out of 10 with my EDV food reviews. And the only thing that let it down was the peppers that were on it. Oh my god, I didn't like it. I had to take off all the peppers. But besides that, it was pretty damn good. <sighs> Car barely started, but it did. I was like, please, just let me get home today. Because I know it'll start normally whenever I start it up later on today or tomorrow, whatever. So. I'm just glad that it started. Nothing really. I, I need a new fuel pump for my for my car uh, with the fuel filter. And for Mazda Proteges, uh, the fuel pump is located inside of the gas tank, so I have to get the entire fuel filter, fuel pump package. Uh, it's just a pain in the butt, but I don't have that right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'll get that taken care of later on, sometime this month maybe. I don't know. Going home just to. Chill for a little bit. Go on YouTube, see some comments. To everybody who said happy birthday yesterday, I commented back to everybody. So thank you guys once again. I love you guys. Thank you for all the happy birthday wishes. <sighs> Alright, yeah. Just look at her. Hello, baby. Come in. Oh, come here. Do you want to cuddle? My baby. So cute. So precious. <laughs> you like it too. Guess what? Hi, Jessica! And she has her new shoes. That's why I'm so damn tall. Yes, they're heels. She looks sexy. Ooh. Ooh, we're going. We are going on our date. We are seeing uh, the changeup. And let's, look, let's show them what you're wearing on your date. Oh, <laughs> this is what Chelsea's wearing on her date with me. Sweatpants. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I wanted to be comfortable. I thought that she would understand because she loves me for me. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Let's buy a movie ticket. I didn't win anything on the lotto. Jets versus the Cowboys. Jets versus the Cowboys, people. It is time for that. With 27 seconds left, Nick Folk, of all people, it had to come down to him. Amazing. Mark Brunel, you're the man. Greatest holder ever. <laughs> He's like, yeah! I made a field goal! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about voiceovers. <laughs> there is still 27 seconds left. Cowboys have it. Oh my god. Hello? Wide open, with nobody there. How? Fly, come back. Always. Yes! 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 Here we go. And throws, and that's caught by Austin. He'll step out of bounds with eight seconds. Eight seconds. <laughs> Gotta take off the shoes for this one. Oh! Oh my god, it was already almost sacked. He wasn't even ready for the snap! Look, they just snapped it. And he's smiling. I punched that guy in the face. If that was right. my signature, I would punch him in the face. Right? Look, look. <laughs> Oh, we're playing football. He had money on the Jets. Right? He's like, oh shit. My bad. <laughs> it's the pressure. He's like, hi, at least I won money. They lost the game because of that. That's exactly the reason why. Now, they have, the last now they have to Hail Mary it. This is it. And here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, And it's over. Game over. Game over. Game over. Gatorade for Rex. There's Rex Ryan. That was one of the best games I've ever seen. I seriously thought we were going to lose. Sir, you play to win the game, right? So that was a great wow. game. Like, I was like, what the hell's going on in the fourth quarter? Like, the fourth that was an amazing game. Jets win 27-24, end of the game. Hey guys, um, Chelsea and I just watched The Change Up. And it was really good. We liked it. It was really funny. And it had lots of boobs. Had lots of boobs <laughs> and butts. <laughs> and butts. But very cute girl butts. Yeah. Um what was that guy's name, the actor? Oh, I don't know, but he was hot as hell and I want to Jason be Bateman or something like that. Last name Bateman, but he's so cute. So yeah. yeah, A plus for the change up. Yeah, A plus. It was great. <laughs> go see it. Yeah, go see it. Sponsor. Um all right then, that is gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, new camera coming pretty soon. Pretty sure it is coming very soon. If you are a Patriots fan or a Dolphins fan, I am sorry, but like, maybe it's good to know what goes on inside of a Jets fan's house and how like they celebrate with their team. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe it's good for you to know that. And for those of you who do not watch football, I'm sorry for that particular part of the vlog, but uh, we're going to be pretty much doing that like every Sunday or whenever the heck the Jets play because we are huge Jet fans, so just letting you know, and uh, we might be going to one or two of the games this year, so we'll see, and that's it, see you guys tomorrow, I love you, like the video, favorite it if you must, dislike of course if you are the choice. Yeah. Bye. See you tomorrow.
Yo, Greg. Yes. I love you, dude. Happy birthday. Cameraman. Cameraman, what's up, buddy? Hey, we good. We good talking. This is how we do. Here, I'm pinch your nipple. Pinch my nipple. It's cool. It's cool. Hey, peace. Peace on your camera, Ray. Keep peace on your camera.